Friendly Warthog inbound. Hercules 1-1 one, one in from south, 10 seconds. Friendly VTOL Wards, one kill. Hey guys, I'm Big Cross, and thanks for coming back for my sixth episode of my Play Smarter Not Harder series, a series where I show you how to play the very best you can in uh, many of my Ops 2's game modes and maps. In this episode, we are playing Combination on Grind. I don't know, I don't think I've done um, a game plan Grind yet, so I hope you all enjoy. Alright, now this video is tailored to uh, players who are trying to get the highest kill streaks, the swarm, the dogs, things like that. And so, um, the strategy, if you're using uh, lower score streaks or middle of the road score streaks, you might want to adjust the strategy just a little bit. But let's start with my gun first. I'm using the M27 with a suppressor and fast mag, and I'm using C4 and EMP grenades. My score streak setup is. EMP, Warthog, and Swarm. You may ask me why I'm not using a secondary, but I hardly ever use a secondary unless I'm using a rocket launcher to uh, try and shoot aircraft down. And that's because um, using up uh, using a secondary uses up to three attack uh, uses up to three of your custom class slots, and uh, whenever you run over an enemy's body, you can just pick up their gun. So it's much smarter to uh, just pick up one of their guns um, off the ground and just use that if you want a secondary. Um, the way my score streaks are working is the EMP is important um, because it knocks out their UAV um, and so they can't see you on the map, they can't see your teammates on the map. Uh, it just like, it really leads into your next um, next score streaks. It's a really good alternative to orbital VSAT because that's the other um, higher score streak to use to lead to your other score streaks. Um, Warthog is an awesome kill streak. I've started to use it more and more. Uh, it usually gets more kills for me than the swarm, surprisingly enough. Uh, I feel like the swarm is underpowered, but it does take out enemy score streaks, which I can appreciate that. All right, so on to the actual strategy. So as you saw, I went over and helped my team uh, capture a flag, and um, got the 50 points there, and then moved on to the right side of the map. But whenever I came up to a corner, I was I was already ready for the enemies. I I stopped at the corner, I was aiming down my sights, and I waited for just a couple of seconds. And more times than not, there ended up being an enemy there, and I killed them. So um, you want to stay mobile this entire time. You don't want to ever sit in one spot because that's just a death trap, especially in this fast-paced game. Um, so you just want to uh, control control a part of the map. I chose uh, the part by the uh, stadium here on Grind. It's the I find it has you know long-range engagements, but not uh, not so far because I am using a suppressor because I want to keep a low profile while I'm going for the high score streaks. The M27 is an awesome gun, especially since they buffed it just a little while back. They um, they increased the four-hit kill range, uh, which basically means that um, you can kill enemies at a farther distance faster. Um, see, with a suppressor, they they don't know where I am. I think they're starting to figure it out, and so it's good that I'm moving over this way. But as you see, I'm not getting I'm not being overly aggressive. I'm taking a more of a defensive uh, strategy. Right here, I'm not, I'm not taking any huge risks to, um, because you don't, uh, really in, uh, Call of Duty in general, you don't want to have fair gunfights, because, uh, when it comes right down to it, um, you know, if you and an enemy are placed against each other, uh, just, you know, on flat ground, no cover, it's, in a, you know, it's just, uh, Either one of you is going to get the um, going to get the kill. But if you, what's really important to win uh, gunfights is to use strategies like these, popping in and out of cover. Uh, you know, not staying out there for too long. You know, uh, you know, always keeping an eye on the UAV. See, I'm noticing right now that right there my teammate died, but also uh, there are no teammates with me over in this area of the map. So I'm being very cautious. I'm not running out into the open. Um, to risk uh, dying here because I'm working up to my second swarm, you'll see. Um, little quick note, oh, I've been really sick recently uh, and really busy. On Friday, I was working on financial aid stuff for college 
until like 10.30 at night. And then I had uh, something on uh, Saturday morning. I had to go uh, to a foreign language fair and say a poem. Um, then I had a dance rehearsal for this extravaganza thing. And it was just really busy. But I've had a sinus infection and a cold and everything. So I apologize um, that there wasn't a video on Friday. I'm going to try and uh, <coughs> I should have a video out for y'all um, this coming Friday. I'm really excited for the Battlefield 4 conference. That's tomorrow. Uh, they're going to they have uh, they're going to reveal game they're going to reveal the game tomorrow. They've already said that. And uh, EA's Twitter account has already said that they are going to reveal gameplay the day after the 27th. So that is really exciting. I cannot wait to see um, the graphics of that game and just uh, how many new things they've added and how it's changed. It's I'll definitely be uh, getting it. It'll be a lot of fun. All right. So as you see, um, I use basically the same strategy this uh, second round here. I just I just stay on the side of the map. Um, you know, always be watching your back. You, oh yeah, C4, awesome. Uh, I would definitely recommend using C4. It helps uh, so much um, because you can always just toss it and get a kill. Sometimes it lags and you don't get a hit at all. But C4 is really great, especially if you're playing objective game modes. But um, you can just toss it from behind cover and not risk your own life. Um, it's really, really helpful. Uh, also, my perks, I'm using Hardline, Toughness, Scavenger, and Tactical Mask. Hardline and Toughness um, I use on all of my classes. And, and Tactical Mask. I use those three on all of my classes because Hardline takes 20% off of your score streaks. Um, that you need. Toughness is essential for every gunfight, and Tactical Mask uh, takes away 90% of the effects of uh, special grenades. So if, um, if you feel like I've given you a lot of great tips um, during this video, I would appreciate a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed to me uh, recently, and those who subscribed in the past. I um, uh, just thank y'all so much. Um, for just growing and it's really encouraging to see my subscribers uh, grow with me. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. We're wrapping it up right now. Uh, so this is again Domination on Grind. Um, I will see you all next time.